Let me ask you this. Yeah. Production wise, I, I know your core. I know what your core production is gonna be. You know, the interstellar and stuff like that. Are you go work with other producers outside of interstellar? Oh, sure, sure, sure. I'm, I'm willing to. I mean, again, I'm 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 just creative. So I, yeah, of course, uh, of course. You know, uh, you know, people who want to work, I'm willing to work. Uh, if they on the level, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not opposed to working with anybody. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't care as long as the music is good. Right. Because I'm definitely going to dig and try to find what, what's special about it. Right. And even if we have to make something from scratch, like when I was working with Milk and Seeds, multi-platinum uh, uh, producers. Yeah. Done like four songs for me, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. They... It was no them giving me beats. We, they made that stuff from scratch right then and there. Right. You know what I'm saying? We was in the studio for hours I, and hours. I think that's the greatest con- I love concept that of creativity. I love bro. that way, man. That I love vibe. that way. It puts you on the spot. Yeah. It puts you on the spot. You you in the grind set. You know you in the grind session. Um, I really enjoyed making those. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I really enjoyed that. Right. But yeah, man, I don't mind working with people. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna let nobody waste my time. Right. You're not gonna waste my time. Artists or nobody else. I'm not gonna waste my time. You know what I'm saying? I take this thing very seriously. And um, you know, if you don't take it seriously, I really can't work with you. Right. You know, that's just the bottom line. And now I'm training myself to hear that same special thing. That's what's so crazy about it. Like I, I hear a, a ton of uh, of artists music and I always, I always think to myself like, damn, what is unique about it? What is unique about it? When it really gets seem like everybody is trying to be like everybody else, right. I'm just gonna be honest. Right. That don't make the music bad. That don't right. mean they're bad artists or anything. Right. They, they, they just don't have a mentor. You know. Right. I mean, I've been doing music for years and years and years, and the songs that I have uh, uh, with Sham are probably the best songs that I have to date. Right. Just from being in the circle of uh, of the genius of it all, and, you know? and, and that goes to say that that's not taking nothing away from no, your, that's not taking nothing, nothing from, from no the, other the music that you, or the music that you've done before. No, just, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's a growing process. You have to be around somebody that's yeah, it's a growing on another level to prove to push yeah, you. Yeah, it's a it's a growing process. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You grow, you grow, yeah, you, you grow, and, and and that's that's why. Uh, Going well, acknowledging that I'm pop because if you if you listen to my catalog, it's obvious I'm pop. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? It's it's quite obvious. I think I was really gets battling with myself on you know yeah. I, I rap, except, I, except, rap yeah. I rap, you, you know. But a lot of people I, understand the pop ain't necessarily meaning that you no, know. No, and that's what I'm saying. I have, to, I, have, I have to open my mind up like, ah, oh, damn, pop pop ain't Christina Aguilera. Yeah. It is. Yeah. But not. That's in not the, the boundaries. Of, that's not the boundaries. Yeah, yeah. Of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, uh, and, and that's funny because when I when I first linked up with you, bro, and we was going through a lot of some of your catalog, bro, I said, bro, I said you bigger than rap, bro. Like to me, that's what I felt, bro. Yeah. And, and that's the type of artists I like to deal with. Somebody yeah. that's bigger than just a genre, yeah. Yeah. because yeah. there's so much you can do. Yeah. Like like you just talking about the boundaries with rap, yeah. man. If you if we make a song about some gangster shit, right, bro, right. It's, we kind of set in what kind of videos we shoot. And I think that's yeah. what the, the issue with a lot of videographers deal yes. with because they deal with a lot of cats that's got them boundaries. And that's why right. I was telling you when I, when I rap with you, I don't shoot certain type of shit, bro, because it's not going yeah, to sure help, help me sure out. Did. It's not going to help me or my business out, bro. <laughs> you sure I be going, did. I, I be turning so many of these little cats down, they be like, oh, man, I'm not going to sit in the middle of your hood <laughs> shoot while you jump <laughs> around with guns shooting no video, bro. It's not going to happen. <laughs> I'm, I'm only doing people that's trying to do legit videos, bro, because right, it, right. it's going to do, I'm thinking right. it's going to do is going to help my career and help yeah, yours. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you know what you show, right? I remember that. Like, yeah, we're not doing the little hood videos. Yeah, none of that. There's and plenty of cats I heard doing it. There's plenty of us doing it. Yeah, you know I, I, I feel you because you've elevated to another place. And another that's what it's, you know, it's accepting your evolution. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, again, that's not to knock anybody's journey. Just accept your own evolution. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I, I really can't say the people, uh, I don't know what people think of me, man. I, I, I really, 
You know what I'm saying? I just I just try to make good music. I don't know what the hell people yeah. think. Of and, and you and, and really you, you yeah you shouldn't because nah. bro, regardless of what you do, you can't please everybody. No, I can't bro. please everybody. But people that like good music, they'll follow the music. Yeah. And that's 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 the whole thing about it. Put it out. Somebody want to hear it. Somebody want to hear it, bro. Yeah. Somebody want to hear it. It, it. it trips me out sometimes. Um, what level does the, the music be on, man? Um, but you you just got to keep working and above all, believe in yourself. But don't don't hem yourself up in no box right. to think that's all that you can do. Mm-hmm. And just because your friends and family aren't supportive of it, that you don't have anything special. A lot of times... They don't understand how special you are. Right. They're just not on the level. They can find a ruby and not realize it's a ruby. You know what I'm saying? That don't mean that it holds no value. It means that they just not here. I mean, yeah, they, you don't always need perfect, validation from other people to know. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You need to know when you have something special. Something moves in your spirit to let you know you have something special. Right. You know, you you don't need it. Just because everybody in the room don't like it, don't mean it's not special. Right. It's billions of people on this earth, bro. Right. Somebody will like it. Yeah. But they will like it. But it's very important that it's done right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're in the music business. Presentation. Is yeah. Everything. Presentation. Uh, you know, sonically, everything got to be on point, on point. You know what exactly. I'm saying? For people to be receptive to it. Yeah. If it sounds like trash, that's a step you need to work on. And, and a lot of and a lot of times that that be the that be the biggest difference between a hit mm-hmm. and trash mm-hmm. is the sonic value. If you mm-hmm. don't have a good recording engineer, good yeah. mix and master engineer, yeah. or you not not even that, but you are not putting songs together the right way mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. music. A lot of people understand that everything is about science and arithmetic. Mm-hmm. And music is mm-hmm. not. Is is very much susceptible to that. You know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. So when you when you talking about doing music, man, you got to know about how to set your stuff up, and you got to yeah. understand how how metrics uh, apply itself to music. You know what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. War counts and stuff like yeah. that. Beat measures. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Even dealing with harmonies, man. Yeah. You can holding holding notes and stuff like that is. is Everything yeah. in, in the world is about science and arithmetic, bro. Man, do I do music every day of my life, bro? Yeah. Like, every single day I'm doing something related to music. Yeah. It's something I would do if I didn't make a dime from or anything. That's just how much I love it. But a lot of that is studying. Right. A lot of that is studying. It's about 50-50. 50 50, 50, 50, 50, about 50% studying music and 50% of doing music. Like, I have songs that have never come out. Right. They were just... A jam session, so to speak. Right. You know what I'm saying? To I, I don't force myself to write or anything. Uh, and, and, I, and I study a lot of the music. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of these sounds have been here before. You know, right. that, that are currently out. You know, with remixing and sampling and, 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 and things like that. So, uh, I don't listen to a whole lot. I listen to everything once. Right. But I don't want to listen to it so much I get influenced by it. Right. And lose my own sound and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah.